Pacers begin this game with the basketball. Pacers, Jay, were good last year. Then they got better in free agency. They lose Lance Stevenson to L.A., but then they get a ton of under-the-radar type of players. Kyle O'Quinn, who provides toughness. Doug McDermott, 6'10 shooter from the outside, pick-and-pop type of player. Imagine that with Victor Oladipo. You get a guy like Tyreek Evans, who's an explosive scorer. And then Aaron Holiday. He might be the key. The third Holiday brother could be the backup PG of the future. Gets a shot up off the mark. And a lot of times in this league, teams take days off. But if this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively, this is going to be a dogfight. Nothing going here on that drive to Collison. Oh, Miles Turner. Two for two. That's what you want. And ball movement is one of those great things. One of the things you learn early in this game is that if everybody gets involved, then everyone has a chance to win. Simmons to Redick. Oh, the pass stolen by Indiana. Now push it. Let's attack and transition so we can build this lead. Buries the three. He's too good to leave that open. The transition three-point shot is one of the most difficult shots to actually defend. It's natural for the defense to automatically run back and protect the paint. But these days, people say, why settle for a three? Why not? Especially when you can shoot the ball at that kind of clip. To Young. Sixers with the rebound. Nothing going here on that drive. To Embiid. Kicks it around the perimeter. Top of the key. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Buries it on the catch. I'd rather a team take a tough two than a wide open three. To Collison. Ah, no good. To Covington. And a rim rocker, Joel Embiid. I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic.